Oh my god. <laughs> so you guys. It's so good. It's so good. Hold on, let me finish this if it's uh, a call. Sorry, I'm dealing with my crypto people. Crypto investor here. Everything's down. Nobody panic. It's eventually going to go up. But hi, everybody. And welcome to my grocery haul. You guys, I have Nick and I both munching on these is what we call chocolate badums in my language. I've never heard that. What do you guys call it? Laws. Laws? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm finally choking on my chocolate badum. These are called chocolate badums. Basically, <coughs> <laughs> Nick, can you explain what they are? They grow on trees. I'm done. I don't know how to explain it. Like inside, it's like a water. Okay. It's like juice inside. It's not right. juice, it's water. No, this is an almond before it becomes an almond. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what I think it is. Or because Really? Okay, oh. look. Look at the inside. We put, okay, so first of all, we wash it. We keep it a little wet so that the salt attaches to it. I just put salt on it. Hold on. Mm-hmm. That's so good. That's a little almond. Oh, it is. That looks like this almond. Before it becomes this almond. I didn't know it actually turned into that. That's what I think. I think Google it. Everyone's Googling it. What is a chalabadum? What is a chalabadum? I don't even think it understands what I'm talking about. <laughs> It won't let me. It won't let me ask it. What is chalabadum? <laughs> green almond is a unique almond with a green fuzzy outer skin, picked in early spring before the inner nut fully ripens and the outer shell becomes hard. Chalabadum is one of the most favorite snacks in Iran, which is traditionally eaten whole and dipped in a bit of salt. But it doesn't say what it turns into if we didn't eat it like a chalabadum. I think it does turn into. Look, those are the pictures of it. We have that here. And then the next ones are the Goja Saps. Oh, I don't like Goja Saps. I love those. Mmm. Okay. So sorry, you guys. And I have one more. Look at this twinsy one. So cute. So cute. Let's add a little bit of salt. So I got these at the Persian store. And they're not cheap, you know? No, they're expensive. They're very expensive. It's hard to get by. Yeah. Okay. And it's very seasonal. Yeah, for two or three weeks. That's it. Who else knows what these are? Who else grew up on them? Um... Who else is annoyed at me crunching on them on this video? ASMR. <laughs> hey, oh my god! This is very really perfect ASMR. Okay, let me put this aside for a second. We have a grocery haul. You guys, we have a random grocery haul. Where'd you go? I went to so many different places, I have no clue what I even did. So let's start with a Persian store. So I went to a Persian store because I wanted chocolate bundles. And then, um, in LA, there's a store called the Woodland Hills Market, which I've been going to because I grew up in the valley. So I went there and I got pistachio, like it says pistachio irani. So it means Iranian pistachios with lemon. I don't know what the LB means. These are so delicious, you guys. They put this, I like my mouth is watering. Smell it. They put this like tangy, mm. try it. They put this tangy, like lemon zest on it. Mm. It's to die for. Mm. So good, no? We can't do mm. Mm. it's more limey. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Addictive. Then the same with the Hills Market, I got almonds with lemon. Okay. Almonds with lemon. Mm. Mm. Smell it. Have one? That smells really good. I do, typically don't like almonds because they Just, get stuck in your teeth. It doesn't matter, we'll floss them out. Really good. So good, you guys. So anybody who lives in LA, there's a couple of like Persian markets, but one of my most favorites is the Woodland Hills Market in Woodland Hills. I've just been going there for so many years. So I ended up at the Persian Market. Oh, I've used some of this, but this is what we call barberries. So this is Zeresh. I use it for the Persian New Year. Um, basically, we use this, what we call with Zeresh Podo. I'll show you guys a picture or Tachin. Um, Nick, bring me the rice so I can show them. Oh, we have rice. So this is like an image of like Zeresh Polo. It's one of Blair's favorites. So I made her some rice with the berenj. So basically, I also got some uh, basmati rice. So this was just royal basmati rice. And just so many different ones. This one was one that I liked, so I got it. And then what you do 
is in a little pan, just fry a little bit of this with some oil, put add a little sugar, a little salt to it, and then you put it over your rice and it gives us such a delicious and aromatic like taste. It's so, so, so good. This is one of my most favorites. It's called tachin. You basically like have a layer of rice, polo, right? Chicken with zerishk inside, polo again, and more zerishk on the outside. So, so, so delicious. And the chicken inside is marinated with like yogurt. Oh my God, Nick, you would love it. So we've just like, because of the Persian New Year and it did end and we took away our little things. But look, I still have like my beautiful painting right there. I love it. After, can you imagine you guys, after eight years, we finally put a painting up there. I have um, some of the candles that were left over from the Persian New Year. A few of them are over there, you know? But it was I love that poinsettia. Oh, thank you so much. Somebody brought it over. I was like, a real plant? Mm. I know, and I'm still, I'm, it's thriving, shockingly, which is really, really, really nice. So we ended up getting a lot of stuff from the Persian store because it was a Persian New Year and we did all that wonderful mm -hmm. shopping. Ooh. All right, next. Seems like oh, you guys have been eating a lot of food. We've been eating, honey. This does not look good. I, I bought this say. like two days ago. I got to throw this out. It's already bad. So sushi, Hawaii. And by the way, thank you. My new trash can area. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, but it is what it is. All right. Lots of nuts. We love nuts like in this household because they're so healthy for you. These are just from a basic store, roasted almond, salted. These are my more favorite ones just because I like it tangy. But just for every day, you can have those as well. You guys, I've gone into this kick. I have to have an ice cream bar every night. Really? I've never, ever 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 i think in the past i don't know how many years have had an ice cream bar every night this is one of my most favorite ones it's like the fruit six kind dark, dark chocolate covered creamy strawberry i like this there's also another one with like um coconut in it i might have eaten all of it last night so that might be done with but i'm like i'm addicted because it's so crunchy with the chocolate on the outside and it's just so 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 good this is one of Blair's favorites. She got a couple of packages of these. These are mango fruit bars. I do love mango when it warms up, so it's really nice. These, she got them. She's not a big fan of them. No sugar added fudge pops. She really likes the popsicles that have like all the bad flavoring in them. You know what I mean? So they don't have them at Whole Foods, obviously, or at Trader Joe's. So we stopped by at Target yesterday to get like the like fudgesicles or whatever like this that have all like these. Like with all like the bad coloring and everything in it, they were out of it completely. I felt so bad, the poor thing. Okay, oh my God, I'm gonna have to, Nick, give me a fork. Give me a fork right now. I cannot go buy a pickle jar, a Persian pickle jar, and not have some. Thank you so much. Do you want one? Sure. You if you eat it, I eat it. <laughs> okay, we all eat it. So I got two jars, and yesterday between the two, look how much I ate already. This is the Zarin brand. I actually like it because it has a little bit of like, Fun, like, uh, what do you call it? Here, taste it and you'll tell me. It has a little zest to it. Let me see. Mmm. 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 What is it though? I think. It doesn't taste like a normal pickle. It doesn't because I think, look, look, look how I'm putting the top on you guys. Look, you see all the herbs on there? and garlic mm. they're marinated in these things so it tastes a little different than an actual pickle it's not like an american pickle it's like a persian pickle. i don't love that one okay try this one is this the one we had last time it might have been i'm not sure this has a taste too no this is different than last time mm -hmm. you got the other kind this is garlicky yeah oh i see the garlic at the bottom you see Mmm, I kind of like garlic though. Mm hmm Hold on, I'm gonna rest my hand. Yeah, so but the one that we got last time was the one that you like. Sorry about the mess, you guys. We made a salad yesterday. We are not cleaning up today. This is how we're living from now on, you guys, on the edge. All right. Cucumbers. It's not that great. It's, it, it, Blair picked this out. She, okay, it's all gonna sound bad no matter, so I'm just gonna say it. She said, if it's bigger, it's... <laughs> <laughs> if it's bigger it's better i was like why'd you get such a big one i was like you should get a firm one it doesn't necessarily matter if it's big it needs to be firm <laughs> all right with that said good old guacamole never hurts the soul we have some avocados here too you guys um 
Um, I shot a video for my main channel regarding some mental health issues that I've been dealing with and part of that, I don't know if it's going to go up before this or not, but it doesn't matter, watch out for it. That's on Nina Uncensored and obviously this is on my vlog channel, but I've been having some acid ulcer and stomach ulcer issues because of some of the things that I've been going through. So lately I've been doing a lot of like plain rice with yogurt and just chopping up some avocados on it, a little bit of olive oil just to keep a very bland diet um to keep like the the acid reflux to a minimum and i'm actually probably almost to where it should be that i'm actually feeling pretty pretty good about things so um side note on that but if you have not watched it if you know anybody who's suffering from it or you feel you might get something from it please do go and watch it um i think it's just good for the soul okay so all you guys you know what, what a healthy household we are so here's a bunch of blueberries here that i got um, this I just had this morning, so sorry I already topped it off, but here's a version of what it looked like before I ate some of it. Just a mixture of pre-cut strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I don't know what, these are from Air One. I actually had these delivered. This is from Whole Foods. I'm not on the inexpensive side, but I don't know. There's something that Blair and I love about the fact that it's pre-cut and the way it is, it feels so good. Um, my mom actually gave us these strawberries when we went to go visit her the other day, which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm going to wash the rest of these. Oh, two of these have already gone bad. What is it with fruit going so bad so easily? Does it happen to you too, Nick? I think it's the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, you guys, I'm having refrigerator issues. It's, again. Again. Brand new fridge, just a few years old. The guy came like a few weeks ago. I said, it's not getting cold enough. So it's supposed to be cold enough, but it's not cold enough. Probably not. I, I can't tell. I don't know. I, I can't tell. And it's on a like, max cool, you know. I don't know. There's just something going on. It's But it's a brand new fridge. And we're not buying a new fridge when we already have a new fridge. So, but anyways, yeah, I just she just gave these to us. But I'll wash these today. We'll eat them. So we'll get that done over with. Um, not mine, guys. Not mine. Blair gets these. Not healthy for a 15-year-old. But it's one of the few indulgences she has. So we say it's okay. Um green beans because a girl always needs her green beans these are really blair actually got these but i think she wanted to just she said you could microwave them i'm sure you can but never over microwave or over over ever cook a um, vegetable you want them al dente guys all right we were at the persian store and blair saw ketchup because we actually put ketchup on our pizza disgusting and ranch together ranch is delicious i know but we put it together so they sell Heinz by the jug, okay? So we got some ketchup. She also got this probiotic drink that's good for your belly, pomegranate blackberry. It looks so good. I'm not sure she's had any. Oh, it smells so good. She's had some. It smells delicious. Then we've been making a bunch of salads at home lately, you guys. So we got some salads, but I want to show you guys something. So make sure when you're picking up these prepackaged salads, Look at the back, not just the top. Look at how bad this is. I have to throw this out, unfortunately. You also, if you take it back to Whole Foods, they'll exchange it for you. I just, I, I, don't, I personally don't have the time. Unfortunately, if I did, I would, you know? But look at the back. Look at how much healthier this is and cleaner and crisper and nicer versus this. This has got to go. So check the back. Even though if you check the dates, they go back really easily. Blair's been into OJ orange juice recently. It's really healthy for you, so we get her these a lot. This is still one of my most favorite snacks, you guys. Whenever I get hungry, I just throw this in a bowl, olive oil, lemon juice, lime juice, salt and pepper, and honestly, it's super uber healthy, light on the calories. It gives you the crunch of potato chips, crunch of something that like, you know, just satisfies you, makes you feel really, really, really good. Um, this is my new fave. This is a new coffee thing, and I've been doing this for a while now. This is the Califa Farms Cold Brew. Coffee with almond milk, vanilla latte. I just pour it over ice. Really simple, easy to go. My cup's actually right there that I've been drinking, so let me go get that. See, just really simple, really easy. For somebody who really want like heavy, heavy coffee, it's not that. It's just a very light version of coffee, but I like it because I don't like my coffee to make me too jittery. Oh. And then, ooh, I've been doing this a lot. 
um, apple cider vinegar. I take a couple of shots a week in the morning before anything else. And it really helps like get rid of a lot of toxins in your body and just helps your skin and so many different things at once. Um, you guys know how much I love these yogurts, the Siggy's. These have 15 grams of protein, 11 grams of sugar. I think that's a little high, isn't it? Mm. But I still like it. And it has, is there any added sugar? Um, let me see. Um, seven grams added. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four grams is from the fruit. Seven is added. Not bad. I mean, I don't eat that bad. So I feel like if I like something and it's not that bad for you, why not? You know. And obviously, a big old chunk of loaf of bread that you could use with anything and everything that you like. I think that's it, Nick. What do you think of everything? Got some new things this time. We got some new things. We've been getting into some new stuff recently. I don't know if everybody feels this way. You go to the store, you get all your stuff, you come back and you're like, what did I get? Absolutely nothing. All right, with that said, I love you guys so much. Happy eating, happy ricing, happy charla badumi, happy Persian everything, happy uh, whatever it. Mwah.